So today we're going to be creating a baseball poster. So I'm going to start off by going to my elements. I'm going to go to my recently used and I'm going to place um, two photos on my workspace, this one and this one. And, you know, I couldn't find one that I really, really liked. So I decided to combine two different ones that I could use. So I'm just going to take this one right here and I'm going to make it the size of my workspace. By the way, I am working with a uh, workspace of 900 pixels by 1200 pixels. Um, back to my workspace here, I've resized the first photo and placed it uh, on my workspace to cover the whole page. I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to go to a BG remover and I'm going to remove the background and that will just leave the stadium with the grass. I'm going to now resize this pretty much the same way I did the first uh, image and I'm just going to extend both sides like this. I'm just going to try to center it a bit so that it, it kind of looks even. All right, I'm going to go back to my uh, recently used and I'm going to grab some images um, that I had. So um, maybe they are in uploads. Yes, here they are. The first one I'm going to grab is this one right here and I'm going to remove the background on that and I'm going to place him right up here. I'll just make him a little bit larger. I'm going to take my next photo, which is going to be this one right here. Now I want him facing the other way, so I'm going to flip him. But when I do that, the word J is um, appears to be mirrored, and I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go to Magic Eraser and I'm going to erase the word there. So I'll just say Erase. And I will close this and now I'll remove the background. There we go. Now I'm going to make him a little bit larger. Like that. And let's place some text just to replace what was there before. I'm going to place this right here. And in here, I'll type in all caps, blue. And I'm going to go to the font. I'm going to search for a font called uh, Zico Display. outline is actually what I want. And we're going to curve this. So I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to curve it. I'm going to decrease the curve a little bit like that. And I'm going to rotate this slightly like that. I'll make it a little bit smaller too. All right. Now I'm going to grab the blue and the image and I'm going to group those two things together that way I don't have to worry about them moving around and uh, now I'm going to take them I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to move these two images in behind this stadium because you remember that I removed the background so I'll go to layers here is one of them I'm going to push it right behind the stadium and I'll take this one too on the left side and I'll do the same thing. Now I'm going to want this one here behind this fellow here. So uh, this looks about right. I'm just going to make him a little bit larger. And you'll need to play around with this until you find the right position for both of these. I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to look for some stadium lights.
and this is what I'm looking for right here. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I got these lights here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip them upwards. And I'll just put them right there. Because why not? I mean, this is a design. It doesn't, you know, you have to use your imagination to kind of make something, you know, different, right? So I'm going to position them moving, going upward like this. All right. I'm going to go back to my uploads and I'm going to grab my last baseball player. It is this guy right here and I'm going to remove the background for this guy as well. I'll just place him right there and I'll make him a little bit bigger. Kind of like that. I'm also going to go into edit and I'm going to add a shadow. I just want to drop shadow like that. And let's add a couple of more things. So I'm going to go into elements and again into my recently used. I'm going to add this circular element. It is called uh, if you're looking for it, uh, glowing lightning orb magical effect. And I'm going to place this right around here behind the head of the baseball player. I'll just go to position and layers and I'll move it behind his head right there. I'm going to go back to elements and my recently used. There are a couple of more things that I want to add. And this is one of them. I'm going to place that right behind there. I'll go to position and layers and I'm just going to bring that behind the baseball player so it's right there. We can also add some text. So I'm going to add some text and I'm going to bring it down here. In here I'll type MLB 2025 October 15 And I'll make this a little bit larger, like this. I'm actually going to make this black. And I'm going to go to Effects, and we're going to use the Neon effect. And I'm going to just make it a little bit brighter. You can see that it's got a little bit of a black shadow around it, which is kind of what I wanted. I'm going to take a copy of this, bring it down a little bit. In the next one, I'm just going to put 1 to 4 p.m. And I'm going to change the font to a font called Horizon. So this is what it looks like right here. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller like that. All right. So this is my first design. Um, so and like some of my other videos, I have a couple of different options for you. And then you can tell me which one you like the best. So this is the first one. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to search for a white, um, maybe a shadow. This is what I'm looking for right here. I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to flip it and um, put it there. I'm just going to extend this and maybe bring it down a little bit and leave it like that. So that is the second option. So this is the first. This is the second with that little bit of a white gradient on the bottom. I've got a third option. And for my third option, I'm going to remove that white gradient. And I'm going to search for a grunge overlay. 
Okay, let's see how this works. Here is one right here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this all the way up to the top. And I'm going to leave that right there. Now, I'm not sure whether you can see that. It's got a little bit of a grunge effect uh, to the um, design. I'm not sure if you can see that and how you'd like it in comparison to some, these other two designs. And I've got one more option for you. So I'm going to make a duplicate of page three. And I'll leave the grunge effect there. I'm just going to take it and move it to the side here. And I'm going to search for a beam. So I'll go to see all. And really what I'm looking for is uh, a circular beam, something like this. So like a shadow, a circle shadow, but it, this is called a beam. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to go to position and layers. I'm going to bring that behind my main baseball player. Here, we, it, here that is right here. And I'm just going to duplicate that and I'll just duplicate it a couple of more times like that. And I'm going to bring those three behind the main baseball player as well. So there it is right there like that. So there is the third one. And let me take that grunge and put it over top again. And that's what that would look like. And I'm going to do actually one more, okay? So I'm going to remove that grunge. And in, instead of the grunge, I'm going to add a rectangle or a square, pressing the R button on my keyboard. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to fill the page here. I'm going to make this black. And I'm going to come to transparency and I'm just going to turn down the transparency a little bit. And like that. So there's a couple of different options for you. So which one do you like the best? I want to hear from you in the comments. Do you like this one without that white gradient on the bottom? Do you like this one with the gradient? This one with the grunge effect? This one with that white shadow behind it? Or this one with the dark black? Or this one with the black rectangle on top that the transparency is down a little bit. Let me know in the comments. And if you learned anything in this tutorial, press the like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. If you want to hear more about my live classes, just ask me in the comments and I'll give you more information. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.